Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to take you through the two different methods to geotag your photos or adding geolocation information using Photo Mechanic. There are some pros and cons to having geographic coordinates attached to every photo that you capture, and you can read about those in the corresponding article for this video, but I didn't want to get too far down that rabbit hole here, but you can read that if you're interested, and the link is in the video description. So most phones have some kind of Bluetooth connection where you can connect your camera to your smartphone and the phone app will send your smartphone's GPS location to your camera so that each image is tagged with a location, if enabled. Setting this up can be a burden though, but more importantly, it can deplete both your smartphone and camera batteries fairly quickly. I usually just keep this feature off to squeeze a little more out of my batteries. So how do you add this information otherwise? Recording a GPS track while I'm out photographing using a smartphone app is my favorite method of geotagging photos after the fact using Photo Mechanic. There's a lot of smartphone apps out there and they work in airplane mode, so you don't even need to be using a cellular connection. I prefer Gaia GPS, but whatever app you choose, be sure that it can provide you with a GPX or KML file of your track. This GPS track is really just breadcrumbs of exactly where you were and at what times. And then Photo Mechanic uses that information, your location and the time, to sync that location and time to the appropriate photograph. And it's critical here that your camera's clock is as accurate as possible, even down to the second if you can, to ensure that the times that you capture images align with where you were on that GPS track at that time. This is one thing that I will use that Bluetooth connection for, syncing the time. I go for my hike or photo walk or whatever, all the while recording my track with the GPS and then send those GPX files to my computer. I keep these GPX files in the same folders as my photos. When you're ready to import your tracks, you get home and fire up Photo Mechanic, open a contact sheet for the photos that you want to geotag. You can select all of the photos that you're gonna match to that track, click on the first photo for that track, and then shift click on the final photo for that track, and then all photos in between will be selected. Or you can just use Control or Command A to select all photos in that contact sheet. And Photo Mechanic's just gonna ignore any photos that don't have a corresponding track for their capture time. Then go to File, Import GPS Coordinates, and the Import GPS Coordinates window is gonna open, click on Add, and then browse to the folder containing your tracks and open the tracks. You can add multiple tracks here, like if you stop and then restarted recording for some reason, you just have to add them one at a time and they'll all show up in this list. Then click on Plot GPS Logs. Photo Mechanic is going to show you a map with your track. This is a good time to review it to make sure that it's correct. And then we have to sync our times. GPS times are recorded in GMT Universal Coordinated Time, the time at the prime meridian. Most GPS smartphone apps automatically adjust for local time based on the date and your location but Photo Mechanic does not, so you'll need to set this offset in the dialog here. And the best way to do that is to just use that auto button. Photo Mechanic's gonna use the capture times of the selected photos to make an educated guess as to which time zone you are in, and it usually does a pretty good job. You can, of course, do this manually using the input fields or reset it all with the reset button. And then Photo Mechanic's going to tell you how many photos of the selected photos can be matched to the track. Check it. Does that number make sense? Is it lower than expected or just about right? And then you can verify the plots by stepping through the photos one at a time using the arrows in the bottom left of this dialog. Check that they match up. There could be some obvious errors that you can find, like if the track shows you on a bridge for a photo, when the photo itself is not on a bridge. If that happens, you can use the GMT offset inputs to further refine the plots to get them closer to where they should be if a photo was made at a known location. You can also fine tune the plots using the plus or minus buttons to offset by one or 10 seconds. 
We'll look at reverse geocoding in just a minute, but I would recommend checking this. Once everything looks good, click Import to start syncing all selected images. So that all works great if you have a GPS track, but what if you don't have one? You can still add geolocation information in Photo Mechanic without one. It's a bit more labor intensive, and I'd recommend keeping good notes on your travels to do this accurately. I usually make notes of my days anyways. They're not super detailed, but they're enough to refresh my memory on where I was on any given day or time of day when I get home and do this process. To geotag individual photos, select the photos you want to add geolocation information to, then go to Image, Set GPS Coordinates. When the Set GPS Coordinates dialog opens, you can input coordinates manually if you know them, most likely you don't, so we're going to use the map. You can use the search bar below the map to type in the closest location and then click on Get GPS to at least get you in the right area. Then you can just pan around the map until the pin is in the correct location. You can also use other map types if those help. Now this is important. You need to click Accept to transfer the coordinates of the pin into that coordinate field. And then you have some options to apply those coordinates to the photo or selected photos. Apply applies those coordinates only to the currently selected photo. Apply to all applies those coordinates to all selected photos before and after this one. Apply to remaining applies those coordinates to the current photo and all remaining photos in the selection that haven't been geotagged yet. And then you can just repeat this for all of the photos that you want to geotag in different locations. Regardless of which method you use to geotag your photos in Photo Mechanic, either with a GPS track or without one, you have the option to reverse geocode those photos. And when this is enabled, whenever you apply GPS coordinates to a photo, Photo Mechanic sends those coordinates to its reverse geocoding server. It then looks up the closest geographic tags, such as an address, city, state, zip code, country, or even things like hiking trail designations. It then adds that information to the IPTC metadata for that photo in the event and location and locations taken and shown sections of that metadata. It even knew which hiking trail I was on here during this hike using just the GPS coordinates that were tagged with that photo. So that's how you can add geolocation information into Photo Mechanic either record a GPS track and import that into the photo mechanic to do it all automatically, or you can do it manually if you don't have a track. Please leave any questions or comments that you have here in the comments section, and we'll see you in the next video.